Okay, chapter one is we are discussing with introduction to engineering design. In this, what we are studying, you can see here, we are studying about the actual what is an engineer and what uh, uh, attributes means what qualities it must be possessed means it must have some qualities. Engineer means the definition of engineer and his qualities uh, should be having. That we will study. Then we will study about the flowchart or step by step steps of uh, engineering design means how to start and how to end for any one new project or new idea how to start and how to end in the to fulfill in the market so what is engineering engineers apply science and technology to develop solution to practical problems problems that need to be solved for the benefit of humanity so here we are talking about the engineering definition. So engineer always use science and technology methods to apply or to solve any physical or any other problem, any problem in the society which is helpful to for the society. Have you had our plane maybe hundred years before? No, who invented plane? Not Allah. He gave the okay power in our minds to create something he assisted. But we created, right? Engineers only created that one. So who are uh, enjoying that one? Humanity. Cars, who are enjoying? We, humanity. So engineers always think about the benefits, benefits for the humanity by using a science and technology developments. Means day by day, technology also developing. It doesn't mean that only humanity is uh, helpful. Humanity is having so many benefits. No. Technology will develop, then only as per that, humanity will enjoy. Okay? An innovative and method methodical application of scientific knowledge and technology to provide a device, system or process which is intended to satisfy human needs. An engineer uh, satisfying uh, human uh, benefits means, doesn't mean only device. It may be a process. Like uh, in Corona, what happened in the Corona? We know it. Huh? We cannot go out because where we don't know how much, how many people are affected. So what application we got in Corona in Saudi Arabia? Tawakkalna. So we said that if you have the Bluetooth nearby, any affected persons is there, we can know it. We can uh, warning you to come, and we can be apart from them, and we we'll skip from that. Right? So that is called process. That is a process system. Right? And system. So these are the different different mechanism by which an engineer will solve the problems which will which is helpful for the humanity. So this is about the definition of engineer. Engineering. Now we will study about the attributes, the quality of the engineers. So first he must be problem solving skills. He must have problem solving skills. For the problem solving skills he can know. He must have the skills. Skills means he must have computer knowledge. He must have the technology uh, knowledge. He must know the culture. Without knowing the culture, how he can proceed? Because for uh, Saudi Arabia, one culture is there. As per that, the application should be developed. For the India, separate culture will be there. Different, different religious people will be there. So as per their culture, we have to develop some other devices, some other process, some other system. So based upon that. So he must have skills. That is called skills. Based upon applications, he must have techniques, special skills. Now, effective communication skills. This is also one type of communication. Okay, well, you developed uh, a mobile phone, no problem. So, with you develop mobile phone and you are giving to me. And you are not telling that what is it does. What it does, the mobile phone, you, you are not telling to me. Just you created a mobile phone and just hand it uh, to me and telling that go and enjoy. Can I know what is the use of it? No. So you must have some communication skill. Means you must know the, you must explain the what it does in proper way, in understandable way. Then only the other person, other person here nothing but me or you, neither. Creator is engineer. The user is human, any other person, right? So there should be a good communication skill so that the product should be passed to the humanity in proper way, with all details, with all specifications, with all usage, right? So that is communication skills. An open mind and a positive attitude. 
Sometimes what happens? Some product will fail because some uh, some drawbacks in it. Okay. Some uh, mobile phones when you are charging and talking, the mobile phone may burst. Maybe have some shock problem. Example I'm telling. Some example. And you will be there. So what happens? What we'll do? We'll take to customer care and we'll go to the customer care. Right? And tell to them that this mobile is karma. It's not good. Why you are selling like this? Many many things they will shout. But he must be open mind and positive attitude. He must accept that. He cannot fight like anything. Right? I already created. Go and enjoy. Do a dive or whatever do. I am not responsible. You cannot do it like that. Okay? Engineer should have a positive attitude. Okay, tell me what is your problem. I will solve in the future. Mobile phone. Huh? Every six months or every one year, we are getting updates. Why? Customers are complaining. Or they are identifying some problem due to network issue, due to the weather issue. So, so many bugs they have to solve. So, that's it. Selling. But open mind and positive attitude. Next. Proficiency uh, in math and science. This is the general thing is technology when he is using a technology to create some object or some device, he must be good in math and physics. Application of math and physics is nothing but engineering. Engineer is nothing but he must know math and physics. Then only he has become an engineer. So he must have proficiency in math and science. Technical skills. So already it's coming here. Technical skills. Technology he must update, upgrade himself. Previously, let us take, uh, uh, we used to have Notepad, we used to have Wordpad. Now we got Microsoft Power, Excel, Microsoft uh, Word with new features in it. Now one engineer said that already I know Microsoft Word, uh, Wordpad and Notepad, I will not go for the Microsoft Excel and Microsoft uh, Word, I will be happy in that. Then he will not be improve himself because many, many features are there with the technology improvements. So, he must be upgraded with the new one. So, that's called technical skills. He must have a technical skills to upgrade himself. Next, knowledge of business strategies and management practices. First, business. Business means what? Buy, sell, right? Sell generally for engineers. Generally, engineer, what do you do? They will buy a raw material. Raw material, generally. Camera from somewhere. Example, I am telling you maximum about mobile only. Don't worry. So, he will buy a camera from Carl Z's friends or some other company. He will buy a touch screen uh, sensor from the Samsung. Many, many things he will buy. And he will assemble a new model. And he will have a new company also. Right? So, for running a new company, he must have management practices. How many people should he have, should hire? How many customer care should he should install? So that the problem should be solved. That is management skill. And business strategies, he must give the good offers to the customers so that his uh, product should be sell fast, right? And uh, uh, and uh, competition, he must see the competition with the market with the same same model and same same specifications mobiles, so that his uh, company will get the profits. So that's what business strategies and management practices he must be known. Computer literacy, that's the general thing. Nowadays, everything is on computer, automated computer, automation, automatically, the machines are we are using, it is designing and it is printing and it is molding, right? So, you must have computer literacy, computer knowledge, it means. Understanding of world affairs and cultures. What do you mean this one? Like I previously told, Saudi Arabia culture is different, India culture is different. So, we have to create a product based upon the culture, right? Uh, one basic example, like in India, uh, Hindus are there, right? They used to have uh, what we call a cow. The cow urine, they used to put in many, many items. That's good for them. But here, if we put here, what will they will eat and they will kill them, right? Okay, we have another issue. Uh, what is that? Camel uh, urine, we can use it, right? That is Sunna, I think. That, the different, different cultures are there. So, as per that, Understanding of world affairs and cultures, he must have knowledge. Directly, he cannot uh, impose anything on the market. Okay? So, he will get bad remark. His company may ruin. So, many, many problems will come. So, these are the attributes. So, what are they? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, this is the TPP. What do you mean by TPP? Means textbook page number. I already uploaded textbook and I already uploaded the notes for the chapter 1. If you want more in detail, you can go to the page number of 33 in textbook. So, all these explanation, more explanations also there. 
big big experiments are there with other examples i gave one simple example mobile there are many other examples now coming to the now exam point of view when i ask in the exams i will ask list of attributes of engineer mention any six or seven attributes of an engineer so you have to mention the names only no need of explanation if i give for long answer question like list the attributes of an engineer and explain any two this will be a long question can be for four marks or five marks okay for two to three marks i will ask only the names four or six or eight i don't know i have to ask only the what are the attributes just names you have to give no need to explanation explanation question will be like this name the attributes explain any two or name the attributes explain about the technical skills explain about the communication skills i will write in that so you will get partial marks also there because you are writing all the names about explanation you can explain by you know in own language own uh, uh, knowledge not language you can write arabic i will not understand okay own uh, knowledge you can use there you can use your own examples you can create no problem i will understand so these are the attributes any doubts in this okay now switch to another topic definition of edp what is the full form of edp engineering design process engineering design process process means the work out we can say process the complete set up we can say process step 1 step 2 step infinity the engineering design process is a series of steps that engineers follow to come up with a solution to a problem uh, to come up with a solution to a problem you have some problem let us take a wheelchair problem previously we used to have wheelchair like only with the two wheels and we have to push okay so what is the problem at the time on pushing right so what they thought that if we have automatic wheelchair it was very good like that they, they have in the mind see ideas is many everyone have many many ideas who implements is engineer who get the solution is the engineer right so so with the solution to a problem then we have to follow a series of steps some steps we have to follow then that is called engineering design process we have two types uh, methods i am explaining here one is steps i am explaining another flow chart also you know the flow chart flow chart the, the graphical way there will be a start there will be end in between decisions in between all the boxes will be there that is flow chart so in exam mid exam and final exam any one show will come either flow chart will come or steps will come so one answer, question is already with you for the mid exam two to three marks so either the solution involves designing a product like a machine or writing a computer code to meet certain criteria or accomplish a certain task so first one machine designing is possible engineer can design a machine or computer code right to create a software or to meet certain criteria uh, criteria or accomplish certain tasks may certain task means small part of the job we can say up upgradation or updation we can say that is called certain task this comes under solution now last engineering design process involves designing designing means creating then yeah. building and testing so once you design you have to test also once you design a phone you cannot directly launch into the market tell the door oh, take it you have to test first what they generally do first they will design it they will go to uh, their uh, uh, what do you call employees to test it how how much it is uh, performing how it is performing battery charging how much, how many days it is coming and how the camera is uh, uh, getting the pixels and the clarity how it is recording 4k recording or 8k recording you got 8k also in the camera mobile well, camera for the last right so is okay <laughs> maybe in future okay. so like this testing has to be done only designing is not important the process should complete building and testing building means the uh, uh, assembly complete making and testing something to solve a problem by creating new products system or environments new product system and environment system uh, products okay you understand mobile phone system you understand so process like uh, a plan uh, like any other thing in the market 
which uh, have good system like uh, when you are entering into the Saudi Arabia, you must show the passport, you must have the Kama validity, you must have the card validity. It's the system. Now, what about the environments? What do you mean by environment? What to do with the engineers? Right. Something in nature. We cannot deforestation uh, done. Deforestation means we, to, we cannot cut every, all trees and everything in the forest and you cannot build all the machines and all the buildings you cannot build. So that also comes under engineering task only. Oh, I have, I'm cutting, let's take 20 percent of the forest. Then where should I uh, rearrange that one? Somewhere I have to plant more trees. Uh, this is one example. Another example of environment is, okay, this time uh, due to the weather, uh, very huge amount of heat is there. So, how to solve that problem? So, how we will solve that problem for the humanity due to the environmental effects? No, no, humanity effects, uh, humanity benefits. Like we can put more in, in different different places uh, water water uh, supplies and different places cooling towers. Many many things you can place. So, to avoid the environmental effects on the human. Okay, uh, like what happened? Another best one, environmental effect that is causing problem to us also. Like in Jeddah, uh, maybe three months or four months before, we got many many floods, right? Due to the water floods there. Okay, what happened? Uh, what the government told? Okay, they can uh, take a uh, insurance. They can get the money from the insurance. What the drawback had happened? That is due to the environment. So, what the drawback? Uh, uh, what the problem we are facing after that? They got benefited. Jinda people got the benefit. They got money. But after that, we got in trouble. Why? There is no money insurance. So what the insurance people did? They increased the insurance value. Previously, I used to pay 400 reals for my car insurance. Now I am paying 1000 reals. Why this is increased? Because they given to the that compensation. Because somewhere has to be balanced. The nature is like that. Right? So that is environmental effects. So now we'll go to the steps. EDP steps. The steps of engineering design process are to define the problem. First, we have to define a problem. What I am going to do. First, to define a problem. Next, do background research. Once you know that I am going to create a car, you must have background research about the cars also. Which cars are already module, already available. What type of car is there? What type of uh, engine is there? What type of cooling is there? How much fast it is going? It was going. So, right? So, this much background research has to be done. Next, specify design requirements. After doing that background research, you have to specify the design requirements. Okay, I understand. These many drawbacks are there in the previous models. Now, I have to fulfill with new achievements in the my new model. So, that is called design requirement. So, these many design changes I want to make. Like previously, you used to have how many megapixel camera? Two megapixel, mostly. One megapixel. VGA camera also I use mobile. VGA camera it is. Okay. Nowadays, we are getting 100 megapixel camera, 120 megapixel camera. So that's called design requirements and upgradation. It means we are improving. That's all. And that will come based upon the background research only. How much we have, how much we have to go further. That is. Next. Generate design alternatives. Okay. For example, in the market, same megapixels cameras we have. Let's take 40 megapixels camera of two different companies we have. If we check the quality, they're different. Why? Because the company and the quality of the camera is different. Right? How one company will understand that this camera should be keep in that model based upon this economics. Means how much he want to sell that product, how it will fit in the market, whether the public, the customers will purchase or not. So for that, we should have a design alternatives. Alternatives means, okay, if I am selling this uh, uh, model uh, with uh, this company camera, this price will be, I will keep it. Okay, if I am selling another model, A23, A30, Samsung, any other models, right? If I keep another company model, the best one is, I think, Carl, Carl Zietz Rents, right? The camera, Carl Zietz Rents. Samsung company is there. So, if I put that one, more sales will be there and price also will increase, no problem. 
But that is, you must have an alternative designs. If, the, if it fails, I will go that one. If it is not fitting in my pocket of uh, investment, I will go another model. It's called design alternatives. Next, choose the best design solution. Because you got here design alternatives, now get a meeting with your uh, employees, get a, get a feedback from the customers. There will be a survey. Customer survey will go. <laughs> but I am introducing this one. What your feedback tell me? What requirements you want actually? What requirements you want actually? Give so your feedback. Both all all are clumped together, and we'll get the best design solution, optimized design solution. You can say. Build your design prototype. Okay, after getting the design solution, now you have come to mind that okay, these many specifications I am going to do, and this is the design I am to I am following. And this product I am going to build. So then, before building actual product, before building actual car, first they will design a prototype, a small miniature car with the same specifications, same items, but in the small. So that we can test easily, we can display easy. Like one town planning. You know the town? Like Aba, big town. Town planning. How, how, how they will do? Directly they will not build a, wherever you want, uh, parts, wherever you want, uh, building, they cannot. On small prototype, they will build it. Here, the municipality, uh, Valdia building will come. Here, ministry building will come. Here, there will be a shopping center. Okay? Here, Boulevard. So, many, many things. So, they have a called prototype. Then, many suggestions will be taken on it. Okay, whatever the changes are, you are suggesting, tell me. From the committee. From the people, everything. So that's called build a design prototype. Then only we'll go for the test and redesign. Once you got the design prototype, we have to test it again, redesign. If we have some flaws in it, some problems in it, so again redesign. So this cycle will continue till we get the design best solution. Okay. So these are the seven steps who follows engineering design. Process follows. The design process or follows these seven steps. Any doubts in this? See here, just I know that you have some problems, but if you find the step by step what one after another is there, you cannot forget. Okay? You just think in your practical life. Don't uh, by heart this one. Okay, I want to design something. Keep in mind what steps I have to follow. Okay, first I have to contact him. First I have to do this one. I have to do this one. All this will be ready-madely comes from. If you buy hard, today you will get it, tomorrow you will forget it. Okay? Next. Okay, I have a Okay, what are the EDP steps continuation it is, I think? Oh, flowchart. Last topic today. Flowchart. I am just rearranging in no chart in the boxes. Previously, I put in the seven steps. Now, yeah, seven uh, in shape. Now, this is in the boxes shapes. You can say flow chart. This generally, I one will be there. In this also, same matter will be there. Generally, ninety percent same will be there. Small changes will be there, not more than that. Check here. Define the problem. Same like previous. We define the problem. Next, do the background research. Same thing. Specify. Requirements, same thing, step by step. There is, we are putting in the boxes. Some changes will come in the end. Brainstorm, evaluate, and choose solution. It's called brainstorm, evaluate, and choose a solution. Like their alternative solution was there. Here, brainstorm, same meaning. Brainstorm means you have to think more. You have to put more stress on our mind, get new, new ideas. That one. Evaluate means think uh, the solutions. We have uh, mathematical equations, must have the solutions. Next, choose the solution. Now, develop and prototype solution. To develop the model and it should have a prototype. Test the solution. Once we got the prototype, we have to test solution. Same. These are the main steps in the previous uh, previous topic. There is all steps, seven steps. From here, redesign. How once you are testing, there should be some problems. There should be a success or there should be a failure, right? So, after testing only, 
they have some results. Solution meets requirements, yes or no. If it is yes, communicate the results and launch the product. If it is no, partial or not at all. No means it may be a complete failure or some upgradation needed. That is called partial or not at all. So what we are doing now? Based on the results of from here, the test solutions, data from the test solutions, make design changes, prototype, test again and review the new data. So after this you are getting if it is partially problem or fully problem. Again we are changes we are making and we are testing again. So where we will go from here? Can anyone? <laughs> test solution? <laughs> or develop a, a prototype solution or bring some evidence solution. Where it will go? Test solution generally. Okay, generally okay, test solution. But I can add some more. Test solution, when if it has, uh, if it is partially successful and it doesn't need any changes in the solution or prototype, like data making changes or prototype changes, directly you can go for test solution again and again and again. If we have more problems, then we can go develop and prototype solution. If we have not at all, means we are not meeting any success in the results, then we will go developing another alternative, developing another method. This one. So like this, these are also. Now, last statement. Yeah, this also we can go. Brainstorm. Sometimes complete failure. Nothing is happening. Go for the new plan, new uh, alternative or new idea. That's called brainstorm, new idea. So it will go here also. So, in these three also it can be based upon the results here. Now, the process rarely moves in linear fashion. Okay, it cannot move in the linear fashion. Directly it cannot come out to the communication result. Sometimes it will go here, maybe go here and again, it may go again here. Depends. It's not linear. It must rotate in the cycle to fulfill best solution, to get best solution. Instead, designers jump back and forth, go to the back and coming to the forward, between the steps as they move towards the final solution. Okay, so many times it has to move. We are not uh, God, we are not Allah. So directly implementing in perfect manner, we must have alternative solution, we must have failures, we must have many, many problems in our uh, design. So we have to overcome it. That's it. We should not say that, uh, as I failed, I will not do this. No. Engineers always think for overcoming the problems to create new new designs, new new solutions. So these are the EDP steps.